We're definitely seeing a little uh, lightning in the market in the February stats. Uh, we're going to review the year over year for Stouffville. Uh, number of sales a year ago in February of 2023 was 37 across all home types, 47 in January of 2024. Currently, uh, through February 2024, total now number of sales was 55. Average sale price a year ago was a million three hundred thirty-seven thousand. Uh, it was a million one hundred ninety-nine thousand in January of twenty twenty-four. Currently trending at a million three hundred twenty-two thousand. So year over year, actually staying fairly consistent. Again, you have to bear in mind that, as I always talk about, um, depending on what's selling that month, more entry-level properties versus you know the larger uh, acreages or estate homes, something like that, farms, um, we're, we're going to see that number pulled around um, because we're not specifically talking about a, a uh, one specific home type. Um, the SNLR tells us the percentage of the homes that came out that month that are selling. So a year ago in February, uh, and we were looking at 41.6% of the homes that came on the market sold, 56% in January, currently trending at 49%. So almost 50% of the homes that came on the market in February, 2024 sold. Now, what we did see month over month is we saw um, an increase in the number of sales, but um, uh, month over month and year over year, we also saw more listings hanging around on the market and also more sales. Uh, months of inventory remaining. So if no other homes came on the market after the end of the month, the date for publishing the stat, um, how long would it take to completely deplete the inventory based on the buying uh, habits uh, or selling habits? Um, so 3.1 months of inventory a year ago, two months of inventory in January, currently sitting at 1.6. So we are seeing uh, a competitive market. We're seeing that, that shrinking inventory, 1.6 months of inventory basically a month and a half, um, you know, not a ton of inventory out there. That's actually a pretty, 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 pretty lean market. I mean, not as lean as some of the other, other ones we've seen, but as we keep going through the stats, you'll see that we are seeing a little bit of competition out there. Sale price to list price ratio, home selling 100%, 101% of asking a year ago, 99% of asking in January. And again, we're currently sitting at 101% of ask. So we are seeing homes sell over asking price. Now, when you see homes selling over asking price, and they're like 118 or 120 percent over of asking price. You know, they're selling 20 percent or 15 percent over asking price. Generally, that's because the property was priced way below what market value would be, and they they were doing it to um, to cultivate that bidding to promote that bidding. You know, when you're seeing numbers like 101 percent. Those are just simply houses out there that people are putting on the market and they're good houses and they're getting over asking because we're in a, in a leaner market. So, um, you know, for buyers, if, if you've been sitting on your hands watching the market, you know, um, thinking that, you know, rates are going to drop, prices are going to drop. You know, I've been saying it the, for a long time. I, I don't necessarily think we're going to see, you know, I think rates are going to be within reason. I think rates are going to be here to stay. I mean, we're all we're all uh, kind of focused right now, um, you know, on the the um, prospect that there there may be some dropping rates this year. Um, but certainly from a buyer standpoint, you know, I, I do think if you, you know, you have to look at it as a longer term scenario. I mean, if you look at the the uh, average sale price um, in the GTA from like, you know, the earlier charts from like 1994 to now, it's just gone like this. So, you know, I understand that year over year, you, you know, the market can can make its changes. But, you know, if you look at the overall trend, um, which I, you know, if you're going to buy a house, most people um, I'm seeing are buying for a house for three to five years or more. And, you know, in that case, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day because the trend is always up. Um, days on market to get a home sold, 18 a year ago. Uh, 36 in January of 2024, currently sitting at 24. So again, not only are we seeing competition, but we're seeing houses uh, sell faster. And I think this warm weather has really um, helped spur the market. Uh, if you have any questions on how this would uh, pertain to your house, feel free to connect.